Hi guys, I'm Eugenia, I'm out here outside of Cornellà Stadium, the home of Real Club Deportivo Español, and I'm here with the Lawrence Tech soccer team from Detroit. <laughs> so I'm going to talk to the experts, people that really know about football right here to tell me what they thought about this first match of 2016 between Real Club Deportivo Español and Football Club Barcelona. So you were inside the stadium. Tell me what was your impression of the match? 0-0, a tie that seems to be like a win for Español and a... That's definitely a win for Espanol. Um, I think we all really liked the game. I think it was a good game. Uh, it was the first game of the year, so I think both teams didn't really want to lose any points. And so the game was, I think, a little bit boring at some points. But uh, Barcelona could have scored a goal early in the second half, which would definitely pick up the pace of the game. But um, it's 0-0. I think we were expecting goals, but it is what it is. I think it's definitely a win for Espanol in this case. There were three goals that could have been there were three opportunities that could have been goals what was missing in this top starting 11 that Luis Enrique sent out into the field today to start off the new years uh, I don't think there was anything missing in a starting 11 I would say maybe a little bit of luck um, Suarez had an open goal and uh, the, the ball hit the post so um, that was a 100% chance to, to score a goal I don't really think there was anything missing sometimes uh, maybe Barcelona seemed a little bit lazy uh, But then on the other side, Espanol's counterattacks were pretty good. And uh, I think on, on the other side, there was also a little bit, not enough luck to, to finish the, <clears throat> the opportunities. So it was the first derby of the three derbies that are going to be played this month between Barca and Espanol. Yeah. Do you think this, is gonna, this match today is going to set up the tone for the upcoming matches in the couple, ne in next couple of weeks? I would definitely say that it's not true. I think that uh, the next game, which is this Wednesday, will be... A whole lot different game. Uh, it's 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 not going to be a league game. It's going to be Copa del Rey. So I think that both teams will come up with something totally different. And in this case, I think both teams will would like to show that they're better and they will they would like to win. You mentioned that you saw that you consider Barcelona to seem a little bit lazy. Do you think it was an excess of confidence, or were just they were just a little bit hungover from New Year's? What do you think happened there in the in the Blaugrana team? Uh, I don't think it was a hangover, but uh, I think that I'm kidding. <laughs> I think that they uh, don't drink. That's right. Uh, I think that just the games be, between these two teams, it's a derby. I mean, everybody wants to show that they're they're the better team, but at the same time, none of the team wants to lose a goal because then the game completely changes. So I think that. Um, I think it's hard to say in this case, but, but it, was, it was definitely a good game.